In this question, we're asked to solve 7 cos squared theta minus 1 is equal to 5 cos theta. And we have to do that for all values of theta between 0 and 360. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to rearrange this equation. So by rearranging, I'll have 7 cos squared theta. That's that term there. Now I'm going to subtract 5 cos theta from both sides. So minus 5 cos theta. I've still got the negative 1 here. And I'll say that will be equal to 0 because I've subtracted from both sides. Now looking at this, it looks like a quadratic. So what I can do, I'm going to make a substitution here. I'm going to say let x equal cos theta. I'm just doing that to make it a little bit simpler. So by doing that, I've got 7, now cos theta would be x squared, minus 5, cos theta is x, minus the 1, equals 0. So hopefully now you can see that we have a quadratic equation here. And to solve that quadratic, I can use the quadratic formula. So in other words, x is equal to minus b, plus or minus the square root, of b squared minus 4ac, and that is all over 2a. Now in this particular example, we know that a is equal to 7. We have b is equal to negative 5, and c is equal to negative 1. So popping these values into this formula, we'll have that x is equal to so minus b, so minus minus 5 would give me a plus 5, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which would be minus 5 squared, 25, minus 4 times a, so 4 times a would be 28, times minus 1, so I'd have a negative 28. I've already got a negative here, so I'd have to have a plus 28. That's all over 2 times a, 2 times 7 is 14. Now let me just uh, simplify this a little bit. So we have the 5 plus or minus the square root of, that will give me 53. And that is all over 14. So clearly we have two values for x here, a 5 plus root 53 over 14, and a 5 minus root 53 over 14. So looking at those two values, I'll just write them out separately just for clarity. So we've got 5 plus root 53 over 14. And we've also got x is 5 minus root 53 over 14. Now actually evaluating these as a decimal, the first answer will be 0. 0.877. And for this one, we'd have x is equal to negative 0 0.163. Now, these two x values, well, we've substituted in for x. So x is actually cos theta. So what we've actually got here is that cos theta is equal to 0 0.877. And in this case, cos theta is equal to negative 0 0.163. So to find what theta is, we have cos to the minus 1 of 0 0.877. And in this case here, theta is cos to the minus 1 of negative 0 0.163. Now getting your calculator and plugging some values in, the first value here is 28.717 degrees. And for this one, the value of theta for here is 99.381 degrees. Now we want all the values of theta between 0 and 360. Now if you know your trig graphs and your trig functions, you should be able to calculate that quite easily. 
What I like to do is actually look at the cosine graph because we're dealing with the cos function here. Let's look at the cosine graph. So here we have the cosine graph here. We had the first value we were looking at, 0.877. And when we draw a line horizontally across, we pick up the first solution of 28.717. And that is the solution that we actually calculated. But we notice there is a second solution over here, which is 360 minus 28.717 or 331.283. Now similarly, if we look at the second line we had as negative 0 0.163, we did pick up the first solution of 99.381. And the second solution is obviously 360 minus 99.381 or 260.619. So these four values here, one, two up here, and three, and four, those are the solutions between zero and 360. Now, if you found this lesson useful, please give me a thumbs up and remember to subscribe.